Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some GTNH. So today we're going to work on our coils, the Kenthal coils here. And we looked at it a bit last time. So uh, basically breaking it down, we need um, mica pulp, which is just mica dust. And uh, mica dust and asbestos. Oh yeah, no, asbestos is next. And some raw rubber you can you can obviously use sticky resin but less to uh you know efficient and then you're going to create mica based pulp which then you're going to take that and about asbestos and both the asbestos and mica were ores right so we broke them down uh so i'm trying to get more mica out of here or no is this was this oh no this is mica yeah so this is the mica ore itself so i'm working on that just getting some stuff out of it so we should have more than enough, honestly. So let's go ahead and let's get some. Let's go up here for it, shall we? I wonder why this stopped. Oh, refined glue is fill. I was like kind of confused why that stopped, but we should have enough rubber there. We should maybe get that going again, though. Just so that we don't have that as an issue. There you go. What we, we got what we need. Okay, so we're going to mix these guys now. So this is number two in a mixer. It would be an LV mixer, which works out perfectly. So we're going to set you to a number two. Actually, don't we have the... We made this mixer, right? Might as well use this one. This is no byproduct, right? So... Uh, yeah, so when we do this, it's going to be three to one. Okay, so one, two, three, and then one. There you go. Cool. Then maybe we can get uh, chest put in here. I think I have the wrench in here. Perfect. Wait, didn't I? Oh, yeah, there it is. And then, yeah, okay. And then we'll do item output. It's up to you if you want to do the hopper or anything. I'll probably steal this guy's hopper. Get rid of the bed. I don't need that right now anyways. Okay, so if we're going to do that, might as well one, two, three again. And another one of you guys. That's good enough. I don't think I need more than that at this time. Well, I guess if I got enough mic, I might as well do it. I don't know if you need mica for anything else, though, to be honest, so. Well, that's the asbestos. Did I put asbestos in there? Oopsies. I don't know if I put asbestos in there. Oh, that's asbestos, silly. There you go. Okay. Yo, it was all asbestos, not mica. <laughs> I don't have a lot of asbestos dust, unfortunately, but you need less of it, so it's not a big deal. But here's the mica, anyways. Yes, I don't know if you're going to use this for anything else. You're going to use it for... Oh, there's sodium uh, aluminate dust. Did we do that before? I feel like that's similar. Oh, that's to make aluminium. Meh. Potassium. Yeah, you probably aren't going to use it for anything else. I'll, I'll do another load just in case, but... I don't think that really hurts, but... One, two, three. There you go. And that way we have this. And then, okay, so we have the mica pulp. And then we're going to make the sheets here. So these are going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, so we'll take that and the asbestos. I wish I had more asbestos, but that's fine. Um, and that's this guy hidden right back here. Um, so you and you, please. There you go. And you get four sheets out of that, too, which is pretty good. Uh-oh. Wait, why am I running out of... Well, I guess I have the... You're fine, right? Yeah. I was just surprised by that. It wasn't this screen though, right? No, okay. As long as this 
Works fine. I'm okay. Oh, this is running. That's why. That makes sense. So I got uh, these guys here. So I can always use this as a backup over here if it requires it. What was I doing over here? Oh, yeah, the platinum, the nickel. Yeah, cool. Okay, we'll just leave this going and I'll do this for a bit and then we'll come back. Okay, so it's going pretty good here. We got uh, a bunch of the mica here. I don't know how many I'm going to want, so I'm going to just start with the, the one set of plates. Ooh. Or, wait, those are the plates. But I still are trying to make them. Oh, we want them as insulators. Ah, okay. And then the insulators, we... Ah, okay. So there's another part to it. Okay, that's fine. We got a bunch of this, I thought. I hope I have a bunch of it. Uh-oh. It can only be this version of it. Or nether quartz or surface quartz. Or this version. Which I should have. I thought one of them, we had like a million of them. Do we have like a million of the dock side stuff? There we go. There we go. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we're good. Okay, so that's gonna be alloy smelter. LV, okay. Well, how many do we need on that? Oh, okay, so it's gonna be used two for that. That's expensive. Okay, so we'll do that with the two alloy smelter. So you and you please, and you and you. Hopefully that's not a huge 15 okay make sure it wasn't one of those 30 ones or the other one will have uh issues keeping up but no well, that should be good there we'll uh we'll get more of this so we'll run that for a bit and then we'll come back okay just got those guys done i did another batch of it so it should be plenty for what we need then these should be able to go to plate bending machine so i don't know how many i need for these oh crap I think it's time for us to disable this other machine, or I guess I can use one of my batteries over here for now, but... Oh. Yeah, we're running out of power right now, so... <laughs> we just don't have enough... You know, these thing, the, this thing is using so much power right now, so... But yeah, I'll run this. Then we're getting our mica insulator, which is great. And then that's that's one of the main parts, right? So uh, if you click this, this is one part done. Now you need 12 of them. Okay, so I, I guess I can do the math here. Right, this won't be too bad. So um, 64 times 4 obviously would be 256. And 16 times 12 equals 192. So one stack is more than enough for what we need. So we'll save these for... The future, obviously, we'll probably need them again, right? So they'll stay there. Um, and then, yeah, so now we can focus just on the cabling itself. So this is why I've been busy working on Ruby stuff right now. Um, because I needed to get myself... Um, boy, I'm not, oh, there it is. Um, I needed Chrome. And so the best way to get Chrome was the way I was doing it there. Uh, which is what we're doing over, where is that? Washing it right now. So there's the chrome dust and stuff. So we need eight of these. And to get, I guess, one of these, I'm guessing it's one to one. Okay, two. Two, yeah, yeah, two. And so basically you could say that's eight ingots. So, or eight, yeah, eight ingots times uh, 16, I guess, again. So, 128. So, we need two stacks of the ingots. Um, so, we would need um, two stacks of this. Well, you're getting three out of that. Yeah, no, no, that'll be plenty. I would probably like to get Phil Phil then. This twice, if possible. Probably not, though. No, there's 40. And, okay, we'll do once. And then, over time, we'll be able to do it again, I guess. So there's one for that. And then aluminium might be a problem because I don't know if I have this kind of aluminium sitting around. 
I guess I can make it, right? I just need to mace right down the aluminium. Oh, wait, we do have it. Take that back. Okay, and then iron. Hey, the iron becomes useful again. And there we go. That's perfect. And that just needs to be mixed. That might need to be an MV mixer, yes. So now you know MV mixer, and that's number one. Okay. This is great. This is working out really well. Yeah, I think it's time to get rid of what we have in here because this has just been going on for a bit. Okay, and then we're going to set that to that and perfect. I'll bring this back upstairs because I might need it. So I'll let that mix and then we'll start blast furnacing it. Okay, let's start on this because it's going to take a while. Um, there's an oxygen version and a non-oxygen version. I was going to be cheap and use the non-oxygen version right now. Um, so a little quicker, but not a huge quicker to be fair. So, um, yeah, I'll use this one for now. I might switch after, but, uh, this will become hot and then we have to do it in the fluid. Now, if we're making 128 ingots, we're going to need more, um, we're going to need a lot more actually. Um, was that one or did it matter? Oh, it does. It is one, isn't it? Does it say here, does it? Oh, 11. Okay, we're good. Oh, wait, that's 11s for this. Maybe I should do it because it is going to take a long time. I just need to find more oxygen. Hopefully we have some. I really need to set up better oxygen supplies over time here. Um, maybe this will help with it. Yeah, wasn't there oxygen in one of these things I had? Hmm. So, this thing here, there you go. I'll just steal this one. Oops, I should probably take this with. Well, that's 64 oxygen right there. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. That had produced quite a bit over time, so that's good news. We can just go like this. And now we got lots of oxygen, so we might as well put that in at 11 then. There you go, and that should start. Eleven, right? See, oxygen is just not in there yet. No, it's in there. No. Hope I don't need like any warmer. No. Eighteen hundred cooper nickel. Okay. It's cooper nickel normally eighteen hundred. <laughs> I don't have to do anything special. What the hell. Okay, I'm not sure right now because this is a bit weird to me. What does it say here? 1801. Okay, I guess we need a soft mallet. I'm not sure why we need a soft mallet because it should just work as far as I know. Let's just double check this one more time. Oops, wrong one. <coughs> Excuse me. Number 11, oxygen, 18, holy shit. You have to redo all the power on it. HV, holy crap. Okay, so we need to redo our, we'll use the new fuel at least, but I need to have these all in HV. This has to be all gotten rid of. Damn. Guess I can't use this piping anymore. Um, but, uh, this is, this is okay. So what we have to do is replace these with the new power conduits. So MV, uh, versions, cause we need HV worth of power. So, um, let me go ahead and get this hooked up from there to there and I'll empty those and things like that. And then we'll come back. Okay. So I got a few things here going. I got these advanced combustion generators going. Then I wanted to make the MV energy hatch and that'll look expensive, but, uh, I'll show you what we have here. So we got the new pipe coming up here and uh, I just have to, we'll set those over here, right? But this has to be replaced. I almost didn't replace these and this would have been a bad, bad thing because of course this is gonna be um, needing to be replaced. Actually, I guess I should be replacing this as well, huh? Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah, I didn't think of that till now. 
So I'm going to need to replace that as well. Um, just because I think that usually helps us. And then on top of that, we're going to have to replace the cable. We're going to have to do MV bat box stuff, I guess. More than likely. So there's a lot of things we have to do. Um, so if I look over here, um, this is the MV energy hatch. Uh, this looks pretty straightforward here. So I'm going to ignore all that. But this one, on the other hand, requires the cutting machine here. But you have to make these, which have to be in a laser engraver. And I just don't know if this is... I thought the, it had to be in a clean room, but I guess maybe not for everything. So that's where I get a bit worried. Do They they usually say, oh, it needs clean room. Okay, no, we don't need it. Okay, perfect. So do we have another one of these? Awesome. So I'll make the LV version of this for now. I don't even know if we're supposed to ever make an LV version of this or not, but... I'm going to make the LV version. Why not? Do, 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 do. How many circuits do you need? Probably like four, two, three, three, three. I just assume it would try to use a lot more circuits just because of its nature. And then two of these. Perfect. Okay, so there's that. I probably might even do a quest for us unless we've done one of these before and I'm doing it again. I don't think so, no. It might not have one till MV to be fair. Okay, so we got that done. Um, yeah, I guess there is no quest for it. Oh no, there is a quest for it. Buzz womb defuzz. Buzz. Laser. Weird. Maybe this is something different. Why? Why was there one for this, but not the other one? You know what I mean? Buzz. That was the quest. Okay. I don't know if I can find a buzz. Buzz. Okay. Let's do that again. Buzz. Laser. Weird. We have this here, right? I have no clue. We'll figure it out one day. I don't know if there is a laser engraver hidden in here or not, but uh, um, because I feel like you don't even do wafers in here, to be fair. Anyways, okay. So we have the laser engraver. Now we need to make this wafer thing, which you can make with basically Terra lens. You need to make sure you get emerald. There you go. It's also emerald. Oh, I see. Okay, we need to make an emerald lens, which is made in the lathe and the cutting machine, emerald plate, or this guy. Thankfully, we have an emerald plate. <laughs> and it's in the lathe, MV lathe. We actually have an MV lathe. Wait, isn't the... No, we have the other one. No, I don't think we've made an MV lathe then. Yeah, the MV Lathe is not one I don't think we've ever made. It's not even there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't have an MV Lathe, but we'll just double check to make sure. I'm not being stupid. That's the extruder, and yeah. We got the extruder and all these other machines, but no MV Lathe. Yeah. Okay, so we have to make an MV Lathe. We're making lots of machines for this. <laughs> I love it. All for coil upgrades. Hey, it'll be worth it, though. Okay, so MV Lathe. Okay, so we can get that. We well, already have those guys. Anyways, we're going to have to make more of those for the MV machine things, but that's fine. Um, we're going to need uh, two MV circuits. Okay, and then I think we're good. Oh, and you need a flawless diamond. Thankfully, we get these from time to time. If you didn't have one, you'd have to use a sifter or something else to cut it. But there we go. We're good here, it looks like. We're just going to hook you up back here. Okay. Perfect. Okay, we got it. You know, dust there you can hold on to or get rid of. I heard a bang, but I'm pretty sure we're safe. We go over here with the magnet, more than likely we'll get 
No, I was going to say, probably get some creeper thing. I don't know. I heard a bang, but there's nothing that we've done wrong that I know of that caused an explosion. So it's something outside or underground. Um, okay, so we got our laser mabopper here. So we're going to use this guy. Um, probably best to get him to work over here if you can, just because it's a little messy everywhere else. I can't believe... Uh, yeah, so basic, you know, make sure you're doing this on the right stuff once again. Okay, there we go. So we need to make the wafer here. So I need to make more of these. I have some of these. There we go. One last one, thankfully. I guess I kept some here. So that's cutting machine with lubricant. Damn it. I don't... Oh, no, it can be water, too. Never mind. I was going to be like, I don't have one with that. Okay. So we'll put that through the cutting machine here. Okay, we got that. So we're going to make it into that. What do I need for this? I don't need that anymore. I needed this and I need two of these. Oh, okay. You get more than enough of this. I need one energy, so you get two of that. Oh, okay. I like just dupes for you, huh? So put this in here and put this in here. As simple as that. That is actually cool. And then once we have this, we can turn that into the cutting machine. Oh, you need an MV cutting machine. Oh, finally. We've gotten to that part, huh? So, cutting machine. Um, pretty sure we never made the MV one. You never know with me, but... Uh, yeah, no. We had the every... We got the silken wafers, but never the actual MV, so... We're going to make one of those in a matter of machine cases. So we got to make those. Basically, we're doing a bit of everything here. So we're going to have you. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and get you in here. Thank you. And turn those into something nicer. There you go. And then... Oh, crap. This part I never enjoyed before. Didn't I, like... You tell me I never made more of these cobalt brass when I had this originally. Guess we didn't get lucky and get one of those, huh? So we need to make cobalt brass again here. I mean, probably not the actual cobalt brass, but no. But we need to do all the fun stuff again. So we need to put that as the gear, and then we gotta put the crap around it and stuff like that. I'm guessing we can do this at least, though. Large gear must be over here somewhere. It might be over in the chest here. There you go. Might as well let it run one more just to have it there for the future. Okay, and then we'll grab the one we need. And this part was easy because it was just, uh, Diamond dust, right? Four small pieces or something like that. So, let's see if we can find some here. No diamond dust. We must have used it all up. So, we'll have to make some then. Um, how do you make this macerate, I guess? But I was wondering if there's anything else. Macerate, I guess. Okay, hopefully, being lazy here, so hopefully this doesn't get sucked in or something. Holy crap, you're a long time on that. I wonder if it gets extra long, like, I guess it probably is that recipe. It's a pretty long one, I, I feel like, in my books, so... I just want to make sure I grab it. I guess I could always uh, break this. I just didn't want to lose it accidentally somehow. There we go. So we're going to take that and turn that into that one. Perfect. Okay, so it's just like before when we made one of these. Done easy when you don't have to make the brass itself right so we need to make another mv circuit probably a couple of mv circuits to be fair two mv circuits 
And then we need to make there was glass cable or glass. How many glass was there? One. And then I think there was a conveyor in there. Perfect. Now I don't know if I have any lubricant. I feel like I saw lubricant somewhere, but maybe I didn't. I just thought that would make my life easier. Weird I thought I had lubricant somewhere. I thought I saw some lubricant somewhere. It's more like what I'm thinking, I think. Maybe I got rid of it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We'll just go ahead and place this over here. Armor on advance. Yep, okay. What did I just loot, dude? Did I drop something or? Kind of scary when random things get looted in your inventory and you're not sure what you just looted. So anyways, there's the cutting machine that we're going to put in those guys in here. And then we'll have to give it water, obviously. Um, There you go. Just take your water. Uh, row one perfect and there we go okay we'll let that do its cutting and we'll come back okay so we need to make lubricant for this whole thing again anyways not for the cutting part but for some uh the the lubricant for the um transformer whatever mabobber stuff so um let's do it up here now we need to do it with oil so actually maybe we should do it here yeah, let's do it there. So we're going to basic distillery. Okay. That way we can actually use this. What is this? Small bronze. Just thinking maybe I should use that instead, you know, just make it equal. Can't wait to have a, I don't have to run around this much. Um, small bronze. Here we go. Wrench. Perfect. Might as well get rid of these old uh, energy hatches here. Before we do it, we have to program it properly. So it's going to be 24 in the distillery. There we go. And Perfect. There we go. We have our, our lubricant. And then we just need to get a uh, couple stacks of, or not a couple stacks, two. Actually, I guess it's two per what, right? Yeah, so. It's just for this part of the MV hatch. So, yeah, so we should have everything up to this point except the medium voltage. We need four of these. So we need fine aluminum one, which is basically, I mean, pretty simple there. Uh, we just put that in a wire mill and we're good to go. So number three. Number three, eh? We don't have any of this, right? I just want to double check. Yeah, no. So number three. Okay. Go. But yeah, we're kicking ass here, I think. So we got lots we're doing today. I'm surprised all the things we have to do, but hey, it's uh for good cause, if you know what I mean. So Okay, and then there's these guys. Perfect. Cool, that was actually for a quest. Somewhere. I'll, I'll grab them after possibly, but oh, there it is. This is MV energy hatch here. This is the one that they probably wanted you to build was the MV version of this. So eventually we will, but the LV worked for us. So advanced chemical bath. Oh, yes. Fortunately, I think we do have to make that. And I don't think we have enough of this either, but. Uh, most of the time was spent making everything but the thing, so it doesn't matter. We'll probably do some cuts anyways, but uh, yeah, so we got this perfect. So I, I need just one stack of this then, right? Yeah, one stack of this, two, I guess I don't have that. I need four of those. I probably have them here still. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Okay. 
And then the last thing, oh, that's it. Okay. And then assembler it has to be an MV assembler, by the way. Make sure you know that. And then number one. So MV assembler. There you go. Boom, boom. Perfect. This is good. And then we get rid of you, you. We still need that, but I think we know what we're doing now. Um, we don't need any of this, so yeah. I think we're getting there, my friends. I don't know if we have enough pumps, though, so we might have to look into that. Just one more after this one, I guess. Perfect. Okay. Okay. And then just the lubricant, which that might actually take a few minutes. Just because uh, it was a little bit out of time. It's fast, but it required quite a bit of it. So, yeah. So, we're not even halfway because we need 4,000. Uh, so, we'll come back when it's ready. Yeah, that should be it, my friends. And now we should be able to hopefully do what we need to do here. So, um, and the energy hatches times two. They know. They know. Okay. Now we still need to do the batteries and stuff, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the EBF right now and just make myself happy. We still have to replace this, by the way. It would be very deadly to leave that around. But, uh, yeah, that will form. So the, the rest of these will go faster because uh, they go double the speed the more power you give it. So that's the good news. But there's a, a bit of a but. Um, the recipe we're planning to do will not go double speed because it's based on the HV cost, not the uh, on V1s that we're used to. For our, so, yeah, we don't actually win. <laughs> so it will be slow and painful as it said it would be okay so now what i need to do is the battery stuff basically so um battery i guess we just look for battery and we're gonna look for advanced i guess we can type in advanced advanced i guess they're not all called that maybe they're called something else for the battery ones High voltage. Okay, so medium. Okay, medium voltage. Just so we can find it easier. Medium voltage. That one. Pretty pretty straightforward, if you ask me. So let's do that. There you go. And we'll get a chest. And we should be good, yeah. And then we need the batteries. The good news is the batteries shouldn't be actually hard to do. Battery, whatever, these things, whatever the hell these are called. Here we go, medium battery hull. So this will be the hardest part of it, right? But outside of that, it should actually be, oh, never mind. They do make it more challenging, but we do have battery hull alloy. So that's the part that's the easy part um we got the cable i wonder if it's the either or or either or okay i just prefer using copper because i don't have you know a lot of the other one and okay so let's do the amount we need because i don't need to waste this so um 12 of them perfect and then uh eight of these i guess oops Holy crap, talk about not clicking right. Eight of these, and then you need polyethylene. And then what number is this under? Assembler? Uh, it doesn't matter, I guess. Or at least, it shouldn't be a big deal. So polyethylene, I have polyethylene some here. Oh, here it is. I wonder if there's something else in there. I have another container with me. Was there? No, I guess not. Okay.
Okay. I'll be good, and I'll go and get some lithium. Okay, I think this is almost done. So I was a little worried about... Um, I was like, I wasn't worried. I was like, I swear I had a lot of lithium, but I couldn't find it at the thing. But it's like, it's all over here. So it's like, oh, okay. So we'll put this in here and just regular canning machine again. I'll can all four of those and then we'll, we'll be good here. Beautiful. Look at that. 400k each. Which sounds like insane a lot, but when it comes to, you know, this version, not so much. Um, oh, crap. Okay. Get out of there, punk. Okay, so, um, you know what? I just derped up here, didn't I? It's like, okay, so we made the battery thing. I need to duplicate this. Because <laughs> we always have two of them, right? One. Okay, so we got the battery buffer medium voltage here. So we're going to go ahead and flip this around and then flip this around. And then we're going to put in the four batteries into there, four batteries into here. We're going to not put a Kim ca tin cable in there unless you want to die a horrible death. We're going to use the MV cable here. And we're just going to attach them like so. And then we're going to do our five combustion generators like before. Same pattern, same everything basically. I like the way that happened. I mean, it doesn't matter because we're going to go ahead and make sure they're all pointed correctly. There we go. And then, yeah, we're going to go ahead. You got fuel in this. There should be fuel in this, by the way. Looks like we did a... Oh, yeah, no, it's not turned on yet. That's why. Okay. We're good. We're good. It's just not on yet. Okay, so we're going to go like this. And get this all hooked up here. No. Okay. That on, that on. Okay. So we're just going to plug you guys all in here. Perfect. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, crap. I can't tell if this is plugged in here correctly or not because where we are. No, that's good. Okay, so this is great. So we're going to just do our arrows. I just like, you know, no sloshing is nice, right? So. Yeah. And then we can fix this part here. And then that should be good. This should be able to be powered, basically. And then we'll turn on... So there's a new pipe being put in here, and it's under here, basically. And it's the steel one that runs here. It goes under the floor all the way over here, and then runs the same track as the old one. So uh, I thought, okay, I'll just use steel now for that, you know, so I know what I'm doing. And let's jump up here. Oops. And then all we have to do, if this works, is... Blew it out of output. And it's working. And as long as you don't hear a bang, it should be fine. So. I guess it'll take a minute to get over here, though. Now, that's as long as I didn't, like, make one arrow missing. Oh, it's coming in. There we go. And these should start me charging. Perfect. And even these running, like, oh, these ones are a little off, but, you know, this is still filling. This will catch up, but, you know, it should be more than enough throughput through these pipes. These CO ones to, to sink a ship in a sense. So 1,600 liters, yeah. So I thought I'd use that for most of the base for now, you know. Um, I'm happy with that. So there we have it. So after all of that suffering, we've gotten that up and running again. So more than likely, this is not going to be working without a mallet now, I'm guessing. So we have to do the mallet thing again. Good news is I guess we got more of the, uh, the this done now. Let's go grab the other. What the hell were we doing it even? <laughs> it's like I don't even remember. It was the mixer. One of the mixers. Which mixer? This one, right? Yeah, there you go. It's like we, we put so much time and effort into that. It's like I just don't remember anymore. Okay, so we got that, and, um, oh, yeah, soft mallet probably to start it. 
I'm guessing since we replaced them, they need uh, a punch to get going. I'm guessing. There you go. Okay, these are all full, so yeah, you should probably have waited first, but we're, I think we're safe now, so. And these should always be, these, these should go pausing or up, right? So it looks like these are, uh, yeah, looks like we're fine. These one pause, but as long as it doesn't sink down, we're good. And there we have it, my friends. So we can fill these in here and that'll, uh, over time, make what we need. Now that's a hundred and whatever. I'd like to get a bit more of that made, obviously, but we need 128 for replacing this from our math calculations. So that should be enough for us. And obviously it's going to take 45 seconds. Now, when I do everything else in here, it'll be cut in half because of the new coils. If I were to cut the power, so like disable or remove the one hatch basically, and just put a blank block in there, um, then it would be back to the old thing. So it would take longer, but we use less power obviously. Uh, so that's up to you, you know, power time, whatever. Um, but uh, I don't think I would do that personally at this point because I'm happy with that. I never did clean that up. I meant to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and see what we finished here today. We did pretty good here. So we got the wafer stuff done. We did that a long time ago, but that's done now. We did the ultra low, blah, blah, blah. I guess if you did that, you would have needed to, you know, whatever. I got to make a lens. Um, we got to do the battery hull stuff again, which is good. And then we, we made the MV batteries. So either, so it, it had to be retrieved. Was there an ore in there, I guess? Either way, let me hand it in, so that's cool. And then MV battery buffer system here, which we have, awesome. And then I think that's it for that. Yeah, I think that's it for now. Now I would have gotten more done, obviously, but you know, it's gonna take a while for that. I do have to make more of that coolant because if we need 128 of them, it was literally, you have to cool these and it was one per, per thing, right? A thousand. And we have like, I think it's like 64 or something silly. So yeah, we have 64. So I have to double the coolant, which is not a big deal. We made that before. So for people who might have missed last episode, we're basically doing it inside of the mixer. We're just taking lapis dust and water and creating coolant. So uh, basically you need 16 stacks of lapis dust, if my math is correct. Uh, to uh, do what we need here, and then hopefully we can make ourselves the uh, the freezer in the future. So let's open the. Oh my goodness, that's funny as hell. Oh, we got one of those elevators. Not very useful when you don't have both blocks, but we'll go with it. Interesting, and we got uh, battery alloy, which also is pretty interesting. Actually, it's a bit kind of funny in my opinion. Got more of this thing. This is for Steve's. I'm going to eventually do the Steve stuff still for fun. Uh, more like doing some of the quest plus. I just like to set it up. Just a, a track or something eventually. But um, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. I hope you've enjoyed this. So next time we come back, we'll hopefully be able to make the coils themselves and go from there. And then, yeah, lots of fun. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. See wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.